today I'm planning to make a very famous flatbread in the Middle East. It's called Manaish. It's the flatbread that has the za'atar, the thyme, and the olive oil mixture. And I'm also going to make a variation with cheese. So the very first thing I do is make the dough. And the dough is very, very simple. It couldn't be any easier. I'm going to start with flour, of course. All-purpose flour. Um, rings come off first. And I'm going to put in, in this recipe, about three and a half cups of flour. On top of my flour, I put in about a tablespoon of sugar, a sprinkle of salt. I also put in my teaspoon of instant yeast. So this is the kind that you don't have to proof in water. It'll work when the liquid touches it. And then I'm going to just mix it up before I add my liquid ingredients. Then I drizzle in some beautiful olive oil, approximately two tablespoons. The remaining liquid is the water, and that's about an, a half, one and a half cups of water. And this is water that is lukewarm. It's warm because I need the yeast to activate. It's not hot because I don't want to kill the yeast. Mix it all together. As soon as it comes together into a ball, I put it out on my table. And now I'm going to a little bit of flour and turn out the dough, and then I just, basically, I'm kneading the dough, I'm folding it over itself, and this is an important step because the dough needs to, um, or I should say the, uh, the protein and the gluten inside needs to be awakened, and then we put it aside to rise. So as soon as it comes together into a ball, in another bowl, I'm just going to brush it lightly with a little bit of flour and set my beautiful dough ball inside, cover it with a towel, and Leave it aside to proof about an hour and a half. That's it. Well, an hour and a half later, and my dough is ready. It is um, double the size and uh, ready for um, rolling. Now, what I'm going to do first is just take a little bit of flour and put it on the table, and then just some flowers in my hand as well, and just gently release it from the edges of the bowl. Okay, and then just with my cutter, I'm going to cut it in half and start with one. Okay, so from here, again, just a little bit of flour makes it easier to work with when it gets a little sticky. And I'm just going to cut off four smallish pieces, okay, and just roll them up into a ball and set them aside. The, the two fillings that I'm going to be doing is, of course, the za'atar. Za'atar is the thyme. It's the dry thyme mixture that has dry thyme in it. It also has sumac which is that ground crimson colored berry that I actually have here. That's part of the mixture. So I'm just going to put that in there, the zaklad, and then I'm going to add to it olive oil. And what I'm trying to do here with this is to um, make a paste. So I'm just going to mix it up till I have a creamy consistency. So my zaklad is ready. And the cheese, I'm using a combination of feta cheese, which I love, and because it has that saltiness, so for the stretchiness, I'm going to add a little bit of mozzarella cheese that's been shredded as well. So this plus this are going to complement each other. And then I also add a herb, and this is um, oregano, or it's dry oregano. Before I start, I'm going to put a little bit of oil on my baking pan. I'll start by taking one of the balls, and just with my finger, I'm going to pat it down just a little bit with the rolling pin. Again, if there's any stickiness, flour will do the trick. So that's one. And I place that on my pan. There's another one. i put it here. So I'm going to make two zata, and I just spread it out. This is why it was important to put the olive oil inside, so that it makes it easy to spread the mixture. Okay, so I put on my cheese, and again here, and just spread it out. So just with my fingers, just like you would crimp the edges of a pastry, I and mean, I just pinch the sides just to get a nice look. My oven is already heated. It's at 200 Celsius. It takes about five to ten minutes depending on your oven. So I'm taking it to the oven now. Hot out of the oven, my Manaish Zatar and Jibni are ready for a cup of tea and someone to eat. And that'll be me.